If this is the first time you are visiting our channel, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Fuel cells, when coupled with hydrogen, are clean, reliable, and efficient energy sources. Water is the only byproduct. They work like batteries but do not need recharging if there is a constant source of fuel and oxygen. Fuel cells can power everything from cars to buildings. Cost and durability are the major challenges to fuel cell commercialization. However, hurdles vary according to the application in which the technology is employed. Size, weight, and thermal and water management are barriers to the commercialization of fuel cell technology. In transportation applications, these technologies face more stringent cost and durability hurdles. In stationary power applications, where cogeneration of heat and power is desired, the use of polymer exchange membrane fuel cells would benefit from raising operating temperatures to increase performance. The cost of fuel cell power systems must be reduced before they can be competitive with conventional technologies. Currently, the costs for automotive internal combustion engine power plants are about $25 to $35 per kilowatt. For transportation applications, a fuel cell system needs to cost $30 per kilowatt for the technology to be competitive. A chief cost driver is platinum, an expensive metal used in the catalyst needed for polymer electrolyte fuel cells. Iridium and platinum are also needed for the electrolyzers that extract hydrogen from water. For example, platinum accounts for more than 40% of the cost of an automotive polymer electrolyte fuel cells, the type of technology used in some hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. Replacing platinum with catalysts containing earth-abundant elements such as iron, carbon, and nitrogen could cut costs. If you want us to make this kind of video, Make sure you comment below and do not forget to subscribe. The durability of fuel cell systems has not been established. For transportation applications, fuel cell power systems will be required to achieve the same level of durability and reliability as current automotive engines and the ability to function over the full range of vehicle operating conditions at 40 to 80 degrees centigrade. The size and weight of current fuel cell systems must be further reduced to meet the packaging requirements for automobiles. This applies not only to the fuel cell stack but also to the ancillary components and major subsystems, such as the fuel processor, compressor, expander, and sensors, making up the balance of the power system. Air management for fuel cell systems is a challenge because today's compressor technologies are not suitable for automotive fuel cell applications. In addition, thermal and water management for fuel cells are issues because the small difference between the operating and ambient temperatures necessitates large heat exchangers. The low operating temperature of polymer exchange membrane fuel cells limits the amount of heat that can be effectively utilized in combined heat and power applications. Technologies need to be developed that will allow higher operating temperatures or more effective heat recovery systems and improved system designs that will enable combined heat and power efficiencies to exceed 80%. Technologies that allow cooling to be provided from the low heat rejected from stationary fuel cell systems, such as through regenerating desiccants in a desiccant cooling cycle, also need to be evaluated. Overall, when fuel cells are fully deployed into commercial markets, the technology will play a critical role in reducing the greenhouse gas emissions driving the climate change crisis. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification.